Hell yeah. Yes, not just me. <laughs> <laughs> we need oh, a meal. Oh, I, I, oh, 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 no. I, I should clarify. I have a um, uh, charisma of one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that actually might work with, like, the biker gang. Like, you can just, like, headbutt one of them. <laughs> oh! <laughs> We it's like your true. style. <laughs> I, but I do have a manipulation of two. <laughs> Welcome back. That can help too. So, uh, mm. having met with your new friend, uh, who is maybe a friend or maybe not a friend, it's hard to tell. It's someone. Mm -hmm. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> Who's just priming you for prime manipulation later on. Oh, yeah. Anyway... Um, I mean, I do that all the time. You have, uh, you have a lot of places to go. Also, I authorized the payment for the Nosferatu, just to be yes. clear. Yep. Okay. So. Well. Um. We've got two people we can go to in, in Egypt. Yes. Um, though... If you want to roll me a politics intelligence on uh, uh, Henri, I will give you that you can roll it. Uh, difficulty? I'll give you seven on this one. Oh. Okay. Easy peasy, then. Ah, you even got some nines <laughs> in there, so you would have been very good. Uh, so yeah, Ooh. Harbinger of Skull uh, in the Sabbat. Um, unfortunately known to be the keeper of, uh, Golgotha, which is her own personal kind of, like, city complex under the desert, where rumors have that she conducts grim rituals, vivisections, and experiments. Okay. Uh, so as long as we don't become part of the experiments, we should be fine. It, yes. Also, we're going to be okay. uh, filled with corpses and basically, uh, Zombies. We've gotten past zombies before. Mm -hmm. True. Um, so that's that's what you know about her. Yum. Um, of course you did hear about the uh, Lilin and being in um, and some of them being within Cairo. Mm -hmm. Um, and those are the so two things. Since we have to go back there in the anyway, we save those for last. Mm -hmm. That's what I was thinking. So, uh, where do you feel like what? going? Caribbean vacation? Uh, talking, trying to contact Beckett? Uh, Korean vacation? Uh, let's try and contact Beckett again. Okay. Uh, you can send out a message to him uh, along the normal lines. Uh, he will not respond back uh, right away. That's kind of what I figured. Mm. Alright. And... Oh, on my back. Uh, everything is okay. I think, oh, okay. probably. Yeah, my, I think, I think my, my Discord, like, all froze up. Uh, I didn't get anything here, but that doesn't mean nothing happened. Yeah, it's probably my end. Ah, oh, there we go. Well-organized tabs. Some very important things. Um, all right. Uh, is there anyone that stands out for any of you that you feel like uh, would be interesting to do? Um, Kui Ya Ling was uh, in the Green Court, right? Uh, let me see here. Let me just check to make sure. No. Oh. But she was a Kui Jin. Uh, the Green Court uh, is the Kwaijin that control Korea directly. Okay. Um, there are other groups 
the one that she has connection with, uh, just for a quick look up, is probably uh, uh, the uh, Japanese Uji. Because remember, that's where uh, your Ravenous allies were going to try to uh, rebuild like some of their clan at. That's right. Hmm. Um, why don't you give me another politics intelligence roll? I'll, I'll only say this one's a seven. All right. right. Uh, okay. I'll use this. I'll take that. Uh, you know, yeah. that, you know that the green court is kind of a neutral ground between some of like the mainland, uh, Kwai Jin and those of like Japan. So there okay. might be. So you could probably get some connection with the green court through who you know. Okay. Well, let's try and do that then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, how do you want to contact her? With you don't have a direct contact with her. You have a, you have direct contacts with uh, Jurgison and Fideme. Mm -hmm. That's true. And the uh, abomination that went with them. Yes. Great. That'll be fun. Yeah. John, you want to call up Phytome? Oh, I'm going to call up Phytome. Do it. Do we want to visit it. her and go find out in person? Or do we just want to know where we're from? Um, perhaps if she's getting on well with those in Japan, or in Tokyo, uh, she might be interested in visiting Korea as well. Hmm. Okay. Uh, you can send her a message. Um, again, you're not going to get a response back right away. Do you want to look into something else, or you just want to give a little time for your two messages to uh, simmer? Hmm. Well, I'm going to make sure Phytomaze is in her language, because I speak it now mm -hmm. very badly. <laughs> and then I'll just write it in English underneath, just in case I got shit wrong. Uh-huh. Well, we're not particularly far from Romania, right? No, um, it's not a far. It's not a difficult trip to get back to Romania. Um, that was granted. Apatia might not be there, but her, uh, you know, the Skiths motorcycle gang had mm -hmm. a large group there, and that like for the life of me, I don't remember if you ran into her directly or not, or just her people. I'm yeah, pretty sure so. we didn't. Yeah, I think it was just her people. Yeah. Let's see. 12 hour drive. Or. I mean, I guess it, it depends on where in Romania we go, but. Presumably. Oh, nice. It looks like a one-hour flight. Okay. Uh, yeah, you remember the Skiths are a combination of uh, mortals who may have, like, you're not sure how many are actually, like, in the know and not, uh, that uh, kind of are uh, spread across Europe. Um, and then uh, there is known to be a core gang of it that are the vampires of the nomadic sabbat that are part of it that she leads directly hmm. so she might not be in romania but you do know that there is a skith hangout there presence yeah yeah so it might be at least a, a lead on her all right well shall we uh try romania Mm -hmm. While we wait on hearing back. And uh, if you need me to, I could try. Uh, if, you got, if you have some bad blood, I could always give a try of talking to them. Might be a good idea. Sure. 
I mean, it's a gang. I might do a little bit better than uh, in uh, the normal okay. vampire politics. <laughs> also, you could uh, probably look for information on the computer about them, as it is a biker gang, and not specifically. That is true. Uh, I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna do some digging to see if I can figure out where the effectively leaders are of the gang. Okay. Um, give me a computer intelligence check because there is a public side to the one here, definitely. Oh, of course. Yep. Uh, intelligence. Uh, there it is. Assuming six? Yeah, just keep it six. Oh, ouch. Okay, uh... So, uh, you'll be able to see that there is, like, definitely a sizable gang presence in, in Romania, as there's a lot of places. Um... I have to figure out where the hell you were staying before. Um, was... I think it might have all been back at the... Oh, it was uh, Curtea de Arges. Wasn't it? Mm, I expect so. Sure. <laughs> if it's fancy, probably. Yeah. I remember we had a crocodile in the bathroom. Left. Oh, that should be that should be higher, because I, I forgot. Uh, computer aptitude. All, all roles involved in computer are at a minus two difficulty, so that should be uh, two more... So three successes. Ah, you were staying in uh, uh, Kotari uh, de Arges, but back in Bucharest is where you ran into them. So you'll go to Bucharest, back to there, to the city. Um, yeah. Uh, it seems, though, that the gang has more of a presence in Eastern Europe. Um, again, it's like, okay. if it was the U.S., it would be like a national level gang, you know, biker gang. Um, so it's got, like, a lot of little places spread out through it. Um, it does seem that there is, like, a, a, a one of the like uh, this Bucharest like biker bar uh, that's pretty you know famous for them in the area for hanging out um, there doesn't seem any other major presences that are known uh, for like actual like places that show up within Romania itself uh, though they are seen in Romania in lots of places um, it seems like there's like if you look into it there's these spots like this across Europe anyway Right. Uh, probably like bars here and there that you know like they frequent or you know there's a presence of them always okay uh is there a place where they seem to be in highest concentration um not really like these bars okay. and like these places that they congregate seem to be the high concentration um for like a national level biker gang, you'd have what, like, uh, mm. at least, I think like 20,000 members, sounds about right? I don't know. Um, anyway, they've got a lot of members, so they're spread out a lot of places, though. And they probably travel in, like, groups of, like, uh, when they're, like, because they're a gang, they're probably tra traveling in, like, groups from, like, uh, 10 to 40, depending on, like, the groups of them. Um, you know, the leadership is not really known. It's most, uh, like, core gangs have... Actually, uh, be significantly fewer than that, because, uh, probably yeah. one of the more prominent U.S. gang, or U.S. biker gangs, the Hells Angels, only has, like, 2,000 to 2,500 members. Then why don't we say it's, like, uh, 2,000 members? I thought after I was saying that that maybe it's less, because I was thinking about yeah. it, and they're, like, a nomadic tr gr groups of bikers... So they have groups of bikers from 20 to 40 that, like, there's probably a couple in every country, you know, and they maybe move between the borders, because, again, it's like, Europe can be, like, with the European Union, like, they can be, take advantage of those borders and stuff a lot, that they can just travel between them uh, pretty easily. Mm -hmm. uh, and, like, you know, uh, traditionally, I'd say 20 to 40, though, like, one of the biggest ones has, like, 100 that travel together, so it's like that massive sweep of bikes that you'll see kind of driving by. Um they're very gangy, but again, like, it's, like, a, a little bit modern day, so they've probably taken a step away from a lot of the crime of it, but, like, it, it each one of the groups seems to have, like, a leader, um, but, like, meetings between all the groups are kind of rare, and just happen, like, you know, 
occasionally, like, maybe, like, once a year, there's a big get-together, like, all the leaders and a couple other members of, like, all the little side families that get together for, like, a big party or celebration and, like, talk business and shop, you know, between all of them. Uh, most likely that's where she would definitely show up or at least have a presence there, like, members. It's oftentimes something that's like, goes, like, for 24 hours, you know, these big events, because there's a portion of them that only show up at night, but that's, you know on your end that you'd know that's why probably they have these big shindigs that go like almost an entire day yeah <clears throat> okay so besides uh, eastern europe we still don't have very clear direction got it yeah no uh, he told there was a biker bar that he pointed out yeah uh oh, okay. there's like probably you can look into it there's like probably like at least four or five groups that are in romania traditionally uh though they can try to travel again that entire nomadic thing uh, and this seems to be because it's kind of central to Romanian Bucharest. It seems to be a hangout uh, where the people that run it are, like, friendly to the gang or, like, you know, honoring gang members kind of things like that, you know? Okay. You can find yourself back in Bucharest once again. Um, you didn't stay here a lot. I think you kind of rented out the place, left the crocodile, uh, left the crocodile and then headed up for the small uh, stay and... Um, uh, Kirk de Arges, when you were planning on going to Punari Castle back in the day. Biker gangs are coming for Pentas. <laughs> <laughs> Look, two buildings down is a motorcycle shop. So the amount of motorcycles I <laughs> hear. So, yes, is what he's saying. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the biker gangs show up here. <laughs> two houses down, <laughs> motorcycle shop. If we, if we ever need to fix the lawnmower... They'll do it, actually. They're very nice. <laughs> anyway, pretty fair. Cool. Motorcycle enthusiasts tend to be pretty nice people. Yes. Anyway, um... Uh... What was I saying? So, back in Bucharest, uh, you'll find some kind of uh, accommodations here. Uh, are you heading then straight for the bar once you're kind of settled in? What, what time of evening are you heading there? Last time you met with them was kind of early evening because, again, like, there is a good section of them that's for mortals, and you're never sure if you're going to run into a group that has vampires in them. Or, or like, maybe even ghouls that are working directly for the Sabbat. But it seems like, you know, probably these people's, you know, policies are curtailed by someone that is in the Sabbat, oftentimes. Hmm. Even if they don't know about it. Let's go. Okay. <clears throat> There's, uh, as usual, like loud music going on. There's all the bikes out front. Uh, it seems like there's plenty of bikers in there right now. Uh, probably like uh, two or three dozen bikes are out front. Uh, it's a rowdy biker bar in the early evening. Okay. Early night. I'm following your lead on this one, buddy. Very well. Uh, let's see. Uh, I roll like streetwise <laughs> for just kind of gauging where I might go to find where ghouls might be in here. Ghouls or vampires. Um... It's gonna be hard to, like, without, like, auspects, it's gonna be hard to tell them apart, a ghoul or a vampire. Auspects tends to be the easiest way for a vampire to tell if something's supernatural. Uh-huh. Uh, because even if you're very bad at reading the colors, um, for, like, emotions and stuff... At least you can tell because they tend to be like a different kind of muddling. Uh, like a vampire yeah. stands out like a different kind of like color pattern than a mortal. Does anyone in this group have aspects? Nope. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Do you want me to show up there? I feel like I shouldn't show up there. I think you probably shouldn't, Ryan. Yeah. I think... I think that we'll we'll be just. You went to some fine. crazy places before we met back in Kyrgyzstan. <laughs> oh yeah, and that was pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah. Um. 
Also, they speak Romanian here. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> mm, we're gonna need another guide again. That's how you spoke campus. Romanian. Wait, is it Romanian? I thought uh, she didn't speak Romanian. Um, oh, right, that right. was Leslie. Yeah, it was Leslie. Fucking Leslie. Leslie spoke at least a couple of Eastern European languages as he was a, super, a spy from the 50s. Uh, and on um, you know going against Russia, um, and uh, because Romanian is related to some of those, he could at least be okay uh, he could with it. Kind of make himself understood. Mm -hmm. In my head canon, my character knows uh, pretty much Russian to a high school level, but <laughs> hmm. as. But, uh... <laughs> Alright. Well. What will you do? It's a Balkan Romance language. So I don't think it's a Cyrillic language, so it's not related to nope. Russian in any way. Nope. Uh, wow. I mean... If you knew uh, another one of the romance languages, you might be able to pull off a little bit. Um, I lean over. Could just ask if it speak English. Yeah, that's also accurate. Once you show up. Anyway. Uh, hmm. Uh, you'll just, so, you'll just hear I some, over, uh, as you're, like, coming towards the door, you'll hear some rowdiness, as the, like, the doors will kind of fly open, and, uh, you, you'll see, like, this larger man push two people outside and go, Enafra! As, like, the two of them are, like, seemingly, like, tussling with each other, and are still gonna be, like, kind of, like, they're gonna kind of, like, fall down to the ground and get back up and, like, be, like, getting into a fist fight. Uh, so... Uh, I'm going to... Well, before we even go into this, I'm going to say, like, okay, so... What's... So we're trying to find out where their leader is? Basically, where we can find the head of their organization? How are we... I just want to... Um, what do you think? How am I approaching this? How uh, are you approaching this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why That's why I'm saying, like, let's take a step back before we get there. I'd be like, let's get some social advice from the socialite. <laughs> um, so, you've got, uh, I mean, we could, there's, we could just try and get in with them and just kind of see what we can learn. Or we could, uh, which might be hard if it's a uh, Romanian <laughs> Uh, or we could, you know, just try and see if we can maybe, maybe we could ask about other branches, or we could, I don't know. <laughs> I usually find that, uh, delivering messages tends to be, uh, neutral enough that you're not regarded as hostile, and generally regarded as useful. Mm. That works. General. Okay. So then the question becomes who is the message for and who is the message from? We say this message. This is a message from. Uh, uh, Mahatma, or a message from. The thing is, you. We're not sure if they're going to be vampires or not. Yeah. In fact, mm. we can be reasonably sure that most of them probably are. Yeah. I'm gonna. Af I'm more thinking about. Well, we can be more general until we figure find one who's a ghoul or a vampire. After that, we can give a couple more names. Uh, 
You could I say you have a message actually... for one who drinks the darkest of red wines. Ooh, I like this coat. Yes. Uh, also, generally, the higher up you get in their organization, probably the more likely we are to run into vampires, so... Generally. Speaking to a boss or a gang leader would be another benefit. Okay, I have an idea about where, where I can go with this. Um... Okay. Yeah. Okay. So there's like the the, the the uh, the guy gets shoved outside, you know, and like the two people are tussling outside a little bit, uh, get into a little bit of uh, like like a drunken brawl. As the large man's kind of at the door, kind of like watching them, uh, you notice that he kind of like looks up at you with a kind of sneer, and then kind of looks back at them. Are you coming alone, or are the rest of you with him? Um, might be nice to bring Don along. <laughs> just, just Dawn's for some extra muscle. <laughs> you know, if I need, far. if I need to show dominance by arm wrestling, I could just hand off Don. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you might, I would break the other dude's arm, but Nathan will stay with the car. Yes. <laughs> um. Yeah. So I'll. <laughs> I'll walk, I'll, you know, if the guy doesn't stop me, I'll just walk into the bar. <laughs> Does he look like a bouncer, or is he like... He just looks like a big, scary gang member. Um, yeah, so I'll just walk by. <laughs> uh, he, he's not really going to get out of the way. He's just going to kind of stare at you as you walk up to him. He's, like, standing, like, in is the it... doorway, you know? Like, like okay. he had shoved these two guys out, and he's standing there. He's like a like a okay. six foot seven, you know, large man. He looks kind of mean. Got tattoos, you know, like uh, probably got like the biker jacket on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's funny because I'm probably relatively similar in size as I am. Like, I think my char my character's six foot. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, one just yeah. looks tiny then. Uh. <laughs> Even better to upset the natural yeah. order of things. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. So uh, he's, he's just, he's not responding to you. Mine, he's not yeah. getting out of the way or anything. I'll, I'll just be, yeah. Dawn's just gonna smile slightly and go, <laughs> Mine, uh, mine getting, uh, actually... Yeah, I'll just say it. Uh, mind me pass. Uh, mind if I pass by? <laughs> He's gonna kind of sneer at you, kind of just take a step back, and you'll hear him mutter on his back, "Tori's prost." Yeah, just gonna walk by. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think he said trash. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> uh, so there would be like you know pool going on, like at a pool table. Uh, it's, there's air will kind of probably be a little like smoky and stuff too, you know. Uh, um, uh, there'll probably be like a jukebox playing some kind of music. Uh, they definitely recreated like classic American biker gang, um, mainly because that's what Apatia went for when she st uh, settled her gang, <laughs> you know, <laughs> when she created her motorcycle gang. Just because you have respect for it doesn't mean you should. But guess what? Someone did. <laughs> um. Uh, there's, of course, a, a couple of people behind the bar. There's, like, an older man who's serving drinks along with a younger woman uh, who looks like a lot of, like, mugs of, like, beer and stuff that are being uh, settled up. Uh, a lot of people sitting around and drinking, some chatting stuff, um, you know. Uh, I don't know what Romanian country western would sound like, but that's the kind of music it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh, you got a great idea. What if I speak uh, Russian? Romanian <laughs> country western music. I don't want traditional music of Romania. I want the crazy music that's the interest of the West. I guess it's it's a little bit of Romanian rock. Mm-hmm. Anyway, what are you doing? You were saying? 
Um, yeah. Okay. Um... There's definitely, you feel like there's eyes on you. Like, as the two of you have entered. Yeah. Even the man mm -hmm. that you just went by is just kind of, like, eyeing you up. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna take this chance to kind of look around, uh... And just see if I can, uh... Pick out maybe someone who... Looks a little bit more in leadership. Uh, Okay. Give me... Is there a streetwise? There is. Uh, yes. Streetwise perception, then. Alright, going to do cool. this as well. Actually not a terrible rule. As the two of you, like, eye up the group and, like, who do you think's the boss? <laughs> Ouch! Oh, oh no. Alright. So, Better. like, <laughs> Emil, like, takes a look around. He's like, I don't know. And Dawn's like, that guy looks that big one. and tough. Or even better, he's the small one. There's two big, tough people either side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, it's just only a little smaller, but like stands out a little smaller, you know, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Anyway. That one. Yeah. Um. I'm. Look Hello. Uh, I'm looking for one who. Drinks of the darkest of red wines. I have a message. A spoon of it's rosa? Uh, the one of the s I... people on the side would be like, what are you talking about, tourist? I... You say as mm -hmm. uh, assess tourist in barroom meu. So say it uh, e damn I'm, I see The one in the middle will say. It seemed a little aggressive. You're not welcome here, tourists. You can leave. Find another place to drink. Uh I'm not here to oh, I'll turn to the one who's speaking English. Uh I'm not here to drink. I'm here to deliver uh a message. I need to find someone Of... I need to find a uh, someone of a higher position in the gang. Says K Messenger. Patrol says a Mama Louis. <laughs> They're like a bunch of them will laugh at the table. Keeping my composure. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the message for, and why did you come to us? Well, I'd like my message to find uh, its way to uh, Apasia. El Plata Apasio? El Cato of Fantoma.
Ask Numi est uh, Penetru old founder Kare Amurit. Who are you looking for is long dead? Let's see. Uh, for her predecessor, then. Wait, prede- sorry, uh, <laughs> descendant. <laughs> or, or, wait, no, what's, what's the word? Successor. Uh, successor, there we go. Her successor, then. <laughs> Oh, okay. Glotte Gasca Principala. Est Police. Who are you working for? Um, as you've noticed that as the conversation is going on, uh, more people are kind of like amassing behind the two of you. And you're much more surrounded. Yep. I'm I'm not flinching at that. I'm not even looking around me. Um Um Uh the one the the other one that hasn't spoken up yet is Unpolist uh, po- uh poete poete fi tourist? And they'll kind of, like, all laugh for a second. Uh, the one that's been speaking English should kind of shake his head. Well, who are you working for? I'm... Make a quick tourist. for it. I'm working for, uh... Another... Another gang, uh, one from England. Uh, Nightwalkers. Uh, what's the. Is that. What's the deception of that subterfuge? Subterfuge, yep. yeah. Yeah. Uh, manipulation subterfuge, please. Ooh. Three dice. Yeah. Oh no. Hey, that's, that's three dice. That's I three believe. dice. He could succeed on three dice. Uh, what does willpower do again? Gives you an auto success. Sweet. Let's do that. Okay. <laughs> Good decision. So you'll add one success to whatever you roll. Three oh! successes! That's pretty good. Let me just pull something here. Okay. Um, Sinca yeah. es din uh, Angola, Lucrecia penetru o banta de Aculo. Angela, oh Ramas Bande, and then there's another round of laughter. Ah, uh, what does small time gang member from England want with us? Like I said, simply wish to deliver a message. Care est sefu blanui? The one that the translate will say then. Hmm. I say do vinim di e in sisi. Uh, the one that's been translated to is going to kind of give her a wry smile. You're going to see if you're worthy of knowing of anything from us. 
Let us start with drinks. Oh. Totally so fair. Immediately going to grab one of the drinks from the men on the table and just down it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Another one. <laughs> okay. Uh. <laughs> They're gonna go through, like, uh, pro progressively, like, harder drinks to probably drink, uh, and probably go through, uh, half a dozen drinks at least. Uh, you know, you'll definitely get the beer with, like, the shot of whiskey dropped in it kind of thing, too, you know? <laughs> yep. Uh-huh. Uh, then they get, like, uh, a, a pure mug of, uh, the last one is, like, a, just a full mug of vodka. Oh, yeah. You know, so it's not a shot, it's a mug of vodka. <laughs> you know, even if I wasn't a vampire, I have a stamina of five, so I'm good. <laughs> Dawn has the unique ability to not have to throw up anything she drinks until much later. <laughs> yep. I do too. Oh, that's right, you yeah. both have eat food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yup. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> so, Impulsa fli uh, Familia Louis. Uh, Iretra Deca Vre un Barbat uh, Adventurat. The boss says uh, to you, madam. Uh, if you uh, ever want a better time than with your small friend there, just uh, hang around with us. <laughs> I'm really not that small. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, no one's just gonna look a little bit puzzled at the size difference. That's basically nothing. <laughs> uh, I, I think yeah. it's the smallness and like small time gag. Uh, Got it. <laughs> no one is going to assume height. Um, <laughs> really not that short. It's perfectly fine. Um, so now we will have like arm wrestling. Oh yes. Who wants to do the arm wrestling? And are you going to use vampiric super strength, or are you just going to go for normal uh, wrestling? Oh, that's an option. Well, you could use it, but it might be you know horribly noticeable if you break the guy's arm. Oh, that is true. I do have a strength of uh, five. And what is your potence? Uh, my potence is two. Yeah. <laughs> I have a strength of four and a potence of two. Okay, so um, it's not looking good for either of us. But I don't have to use potence. <laughs> you don't have to use potence either. Um, also, can't you choose to use only one potence? You could use less too. Yeah, uh, you can hold back. You know, it's holding back your strength. So, uh, yep. how much do you want to use, and what do you want to do? Who's going to do the arm wrestling? Uh, either of us really could. Um, I'm going to let Don do it, though. I think yeah, that'd look a little bit be much more humiliating. <laughs> I won't use my poems. I'll be nice. Mm -hmm. I'll be nice, ish. I'm gonna say because there is a little bit of skill to this to the game of uh, uh, arm wrestling more than just brute strength, you know. It's like you know, mm -hmm. uh, probably strength. I will say athletics. Is there an athletics? I think there is. There is an athletics. Yes. Yup. Yup. Nice. I won't use my potent. Okay. You, you are good. Yeah. Ooh! Wow. Yeah. That was quite a roll. I have two athletics. Uh, you'll win the first match, just barely. Yay! Oh, oh, maybe I should be using my potence. <laughs> Let me put it this way. You rolled two ones, uh, they rolled a one, two, which <laughs> just saved the day oh. for you. Yeah. Uh, I, do want, I do want to point out that you did get five successes on top of those ones. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so then they're going to call on an even bigger dude who's going to kind of challenge you next. Oh, yeah. Let's do this again. Strength Athletics. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck. That was the worst roll I've ever had. Uh, this guy handily defeats you. 
and there's a lot of like cheering and stuff. Uh, uh, so next up I is did. Emil. Do you want to challenge this guy? They're going to give you the chance to yes. challenge this guy. Yeah. I will do so. Okay. Uh, well, let's not use potions first. Okay. Ooh, good roll though. Four successes. Ooh. Dang. Uh, okay. Uh, like you get really good, but the guy still beats you. Oh, this dude is humongous. Mm-hmm. Uh, because he got... Probably looks a little bit more even, though. No. Yes. He got five? He got five. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> uh-huh. This is, like... This is their, like, big, like, five-strength dude who's actually been, like... Who works out a lot, too, so he had a bunch of athletics, yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, one more go. One more go. <laughs> one more go. Time. Okay, well, and, yeah. and... You can always call in your ringer. <laughs> Leave it on I mean, it's, it's actually ah, funny because ah. I also have two potents. Mm -hmm. It's like, uh, but and 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 the and the translator will be like, you get one more. See if you get off the rust. I didn't have a warm up round. Uh huh. <laughs> Okay. Um, ah, do I want to use potents or should I just yeah. go for it? <laughs> use oh. potents, okay. Mm -hmm. Fucking kill the man. Mm -hmm. It's and uh, you add one for each potents, one to the roll yes. for each potents, or, or you, does it add you, successes? You can spend a blood to add successes, or you can just add dice to the roll. I'm going to just add dice, I mm -hmm. think. Yeah. And I'm going to spend one blood point to increase my strength <laughs> by one. Okay. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> okay. So now you'll be rolling ten dice. Oof. Oh my god! Ah. How with that many dice? <laughs> oh, <laughs> and he just handily defeats you. Because oh he rolled no. six successes. If he had that three rolls, <laughs> I rolled ten dice. <laughs> <That's> powerful. <laughs> I rolled. <laughs> I rolled three tens too. Damn. Okay. Um, <laughs> found the next dude. I'm gonna ghoul just because he's really strong. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> the new Charles. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give my friend one more go to. I say. I'm gonna give him a really nice smile. Uh, he's just gonna kind of like give that like why not latitude. He's like you know like everybody's just laughing you know like laughing you guys up things like that you know. What do you want to do, Dawn? Right. Athletics. I'm at my two potents. Mhm. Mm Let's just see how this goes. Are you gonna spend the blood to make it automatic successes on the potents? No. Okay. No, it's a point of pride now. Uh huh. <laughs> Go ahead and roll it. Oh. <laughs> That's so many dice! Oh. Well, he only gets three successes this time. It still beats you. He's so powerful! <laughs> Why are we rolling so bad? You know what? I'm more upset about rolling bad now at a point of pride than combat. <laughs> In combat, at least I can just be like, oh, I'm just being bad. And this, Dawn's just being bad at arm wrestling. This is gonna haunt her forever. I know. Emil's. Oh. <laughs> I, let me put it this way you have two athletics, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah, two athletics. Yeah, we, we have the same dice pool. Because I have yeah. four strength, three athletics. You have five st strength, two athletics. Yeah. <laughs> let me put it this way. Even even when you didn't use your potence, both of you had possibilities of being him with oh. this the straight up rolls. The dice weren't that close differently apart. You guys just rolled trash in comparison to him. He just rolled awesome. Uh so you're gonna try to bring in your rigor or not? <sighs> We're both just gonna head back to the car in complete silence. Nathan's gonna be like, hey, what happened? We just don't roll. <laughs> 
we don't want to talk about it. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of like I'm guessing they kind of like kick us out at that point, or uh, or do they like our attempts? Um, because we clearly didn't like. I mean, we didn't do that bad. I beat the fuck most of the time. Dude. Uh, hey, I, there was one you, where I got, I got one four and he got five. They'll give you so. one more chance. Uh, I'm going to need a... They're going to challenge you to a game of pool with their top player. Interesting. Okay. And I think this one is going to be... It's going to be... Because I'm, I'm saying for pool... I feel like dexterity. I feel like maybe even rather than dexterity, intelligence. Mm, yeah, maybe. no, you could. I'd say you could do either. Yeah. It depends on how you play. Yeah. Do you do the geometry way of playing, or do you do the? I'm gonna smack it and see what happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or or do you or do you dexterously like, just just aim each shot with intuition. Yeah. Um. So let's say for it, uh, you can either use, um. Intelligence academics, which would be the mathematical way, like break it down perfectly mathematically, you know, mm -hmm. or you could do yeah. a dexterity. Um... Wouldn't that then be athletics? It's just a performance. Street. I feel like what? performance, what? maybe. Yeah, because yeah. that feels yeah. like you get a lot of like the physical manipulation, you know, kind of with performance. Well, yeah, I guess I'm going intelligence academics because that would be slightly better for mm -hmm. me. Okay, you should bring me in on this one. Yeah. Are you going to bring in at your ringer? At this point, it's pride. <laughs> no, yeah. at this point, yeah, we it's can't pride. bring you in at this point. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Your intelligence athletics, then. Um, and they're going straight to their best pool player. Okay. Two successes. It's pretty good for uh, my dice pool. <laughs> Uh, you are handedly <laughs> defeated. That's fair. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. <laughs> wow. That's a lot of successes and a one. <laughs> so, oh. He just. What is with your rolls today? I don't That's know. So they are very really powerful. Because <laughs> our rolls have been, our rolls have been bad, but some of them haven't been terrible. You've just been rolling better. <laughs> but rolling really good. I rolled on all that dice that the guy got. I got all but one, all but two were successes, and one of those twos was a one. He just oh trounced God. you. Dawn, do you want to try your try? A try Let's or have a go. I'm gonna try the Dex performance. Okay. This is Dex. I gotta use my celerity, right? Sure, if you want to. Oh, do you yeah, want to I'm spend sure. the blood to make it an automatic successes? Nope. It's fried. <laughs> uh, actually, you can't spend blood oh. to make the automatic Ooh, successes. Wow. Uh, oh. What What is your keyword for dexterity? Actually, we haven't talked about that. Well, what is my hook for the who? Uh, your specialization for dexterity. Oh yeah, I never. Hang on. I'll have to look that specialization? up. What? If you have a four or five in something, you get a specialization and an attribute or an ability. Oh, oh I, know, I should pick never... those. Yes. I didn't and, know that was a thing. What, what those do is if you roll tens on a specialization, you get to re-roll them. If it applies. Oh. And if and those extra dice can't be botches. So the ones don't count. It's only if they get an extra success. So they're really good. But it's yep. like if your specialization applies. Oh. That's why I get to re-roll tens when I'm shooting someone and targeting them. Yeah, because he's got like accurate like, mark mark marksman. So, like, when he takes an action to, like, a little bit of time to aim, he gets the, you know, the, the bonuses. Ooh, I have well, five that, of those I need to pick out. Right I'll now, do that we'll roll and see. Oh, hey, you, uh, you defeat him, Dawn. Yes! It doesn't even matter if your specialization applies. Uh, you, you both roll, you rolled actually one more dice than him thanks to your celerity. You know, you were just like, <gasps> it's like... It, it, you made sure it was subtle because so like you know you know rather than like you know using the actual like you know extra speed you were just like subtly like you know like you could like almost use like the fact that you're like so quick to like just like do little things of like oh I should have to actually turn it like right here you know like or like mm. like just like kind of like allowing uh, for like angles yeah. a little better or something you know 
It's the extra manipulation mm -hmm. for reaction speed. Uh, but it certainly is enough for this time. His game was not nearly as good as it was with Emil's. It's still a really good game he does, uh, but you managed to defeat him. Oh, yes. Oh, there we my go. Pride. <laughs> my pride. pride. <sighs> Both of our prides were hurt very badly today. <laughs> counter! 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 You hear from a trout. One last test. Can your no, no, no. he's gonna he's gonna turn towards the meal and be like, can your butterfly sing? Excuse me. <laughs> oh no. I have <laughs> no idea. <laughs> yeah, I don't think no one knows either. <laughs> she, well. Oh no. Uh huh. Is is the one about to do karaoke? Is that what's happening? <laughs> Uh huh. And again, you should call me in. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Nathan comes in with his top hat and cape, and he just he just goes for it. Uh huh. Oh. Just saying. Foreign performance, foreign charisma. <laughs> oh, is that what it is? Charisma performance. Yep. That's my I guess. Have a three and a two. <laughs> Well, up to you. If you want to put on a show, they're looking to you, Dawn. Oh, well. Yes. Oh, God. Emil says, oh, that's not my butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> Again, probably he just called her butterfly because he doesn't know the word for, like, like a songbird or something. Yeah. Oh. Dawn is gonna waltz right up to that old karaoke machine that looks like it's from the 90s. It is probably a 90s karaoke sheet that they probably use once a week. Uh, you know, when they get really drunk for, like, weird <laughs> parties. Uh, and so someone will hit the juice jukebox, uh, just as something that, like, you know, as, as a background beat almost, you know? <laughs> uh. Oh, what should Dawn sing? That's the problem. That's the problem. She should rap. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say, "Baby no. got back." <laughs> <laughs> they just keep shouting, "Kanta, Kanta, 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 Kanta." Okay. Okay. Well, that's not a nice word. Fine. Yeah, I was gonna say that's very close to something. Um. <laughs> it's, look, it's the A with like a little like thing over top of it, so it's probably pronounced in an entirely different way, but I have no idea how the hell it's pronounced in Romanian. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what? Dawn is gonna sing some classic Britney Spears. Mm hmm Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Please roll me that uh, charisma performance. Let's see how this goes. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, my God! <laughs> Dawn rocks it! Uh, yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> For some reason, whenever Dawn's apparently gonna dance or sing, it goes well. <laughs> <laughs> Dawn entertains the masses. <laughs> Well, you know, we bring you along for because you're your eye and ear candy. Yeah, apparently. apparently. <laughs> After an epic performance, uh, you seem to have won them over, Dawn. Not you, Emil. They still yeah, like. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> no, no, that's totally fair. I mean, I should have done great at the uh, arm wrestling, but. Uh -huh. You know. They they seem still impressed that you beat the one of them in arm wrestling the Dawn, you know? It's like, yeah. oh, you're still pretty yeah. powerful, you know? Mm -hmm. Pretty strong for a woman. <clears throat> um, oh. Why is it with... What is it with Dawn and gangs? It, it seems to you be know, a thing. Oh. oh, my face hurts from laughing. Uh, after, like, a, a little bit more of, like, relaxing and partying and stuff, uh, the, uh, the one that translates gonna, uh, it's like, if you you seem reasonable enough. If you are looking for, uh, the main gang, you will want to go to Warsaw. They should be there 
in a few days. They travel around a lot. But uh, word in the grapevine is they're going to be spending some time in there. Good luck to you, little sister. Oh. Uh, you'll also get a sweet bike, uh, bike gang jacket. <gasps> yes! <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> it's got like you know it's, it's it's got like it's like the sleeveless jacket with like the torn sleeves off and like the uh like the skull symbol on the back you know <laughs> uh the symbol of like this skull that's a symbol of their gang uh on the back you know uh is it like a flaming skull i can't remember oh i uh, hope so uh i have to quickly look that up uh, it's oh uh all like it is like the the skull you kind of see in the back, but all of them like kind of get it on the the, the arm too, so they have this tattooed like skull uh, as their emblem. Um, so I just looked up I just looked up Romanian phonology, and it's uh, so it's actually kanta. Oh, oh god! <laughs> well, <laughs> that's a thing. Mario, no. Wait, wait, wait. Let's have. Let's see what's. Kunta. It's Kunta, according to Google uh, speaking. Oh. Kunta. I guess maybe just the way it's in the language. Yeah. <laughs> I could have them saying this all so much, but they were chanting same. Anyway, all right. As you head back to Nathan, actually successful, uh, and Dawn in <laughs> like a biker jacket. Uh, we'll take our second break oh, here. Oh, wait, it's carrot A. I thought it was... Anyway. It's not um... dot A, it's carrot A. God damn it. Ah. Stupid foreign languages with their carrots and dots. Mm -hmm. The all-important carrot. <laughs> I forgot yeah. that's what it's called. Anyway, so... Yeah, so it is, it is E. It's mm -hmm. key dip. Yeah. Key dip. Mm. Anyway. Kunta. If you need a snack, drink, uh, bathroom break, go ahead and take it. We'll be back in a little bit here on the show for our last uh, little bit. So see you in a second, folks. <laughs>